Are you a solo dev with a day job, struggling to finish your dream project at night? Then you know how overwhelming it can be to plan, organize, and build a brand new piece of software. Last year, I shared my Agile-inspired system for organizing solo development projects, which has helped me stay productive while working solo. I've made significant improvements since then, like switching to a new streamlined project management tool and utilizing Obsidian for brainstorming and documentation. These upgrades have increased my efficiency, added some fun to the process, and even perfectly set me up to bring another developer onto the project. Let's take a look. The first step in my process is capturing ideas. I've been using Ryder Carroll's bullet journal system since 2016. It's a system for creating a planner inside of a blank notebook so I can set things up exactly the way I want to. When an idea strikes me for my project, I record it in my bullet journal and include a special symbol so that I know it's for the project. For those of you who don't like to draw, you can use a hashtag of app or game, depending on what kind of project you're doing. If you're not a user of a thing like a bullet journal, you can always just use a pocket notebook or any notebook that you have lying around to capture ideas. The important thing is, is to have something handy for when those ideas come. During my weekly review process, I'll go through and grab all of these ideas that I've captured and transfer them over to Obsidian. When I'm ready to flesh out an idea, I create a mind map so that I can start breaking it down into smaller pieces. I continue breaking the idea down until it's in a state where I have clear action items and can actually start working on them in the code. While Obsidian is a great place to break things down, sometimes it's a little bit slow. In those cases, I turn to another app called Concepts, which provides an infinite canvas for me to draw and write out by hand. I often find it easier to break down complex ideas by sketching them out. Once I'm done, I can export it and then import it into Obsidian, so it's included with my other brainstorming. In my last video, I shared how I was using the app Shortcut to be able to manage the software development lifecycle. One of my viewers told me about another project management tool called Codex. It's kind of a gamified project management tool geared towards game developers, but it's useful for any sort of software development project. I checked it out and immediately fell in love with it. It's a lot simpler than Shortcut and is so much more fun with its card game-like feel. After I'm done breaking ideas down in Obsidian or in Concepts, I can transfer them over to Codex. Each task is a card inside of Codex, and you can put these cards in different decks depending on what category they fit into. I have a deck for documentation. These are cards that just tell me things about the application. I also have a backlog deck. This is where all those items that I'm transferring over from Obsidian go first. Then I have decks for code related items, design, and maintenance. I've worked in an agile environment for over a decade, so I'm very familiar with the processes. While Agile is designed for teams, I've borrowed a lot of the principles and made them work for me as a solo developer. In Agile, in particular the Scrum framework, you work in two-week sprints. At the beginning of a sprint, you have a planning meeting where you decide what tasks you're going to try and get done in the next two weeks. The goal then becomes completing all of those tasks within the two weeks. If you find you loaded your sprint with too much work, in the next sprint planning you can adjust how much work you want to include in the next one. Another meeting you often have in Agile is a backlog refinement. This is the meeting where you go through each of the items in the backlog and add details and ask questions about each task so that you know exactly what needs to get done in order to accomplish that task. I do this on a regular basis. I go through my backlog deck and add details and properties to the card so that I know exactly what I need to do in order to get that task done. In Codex, you have a hand that you can put cards into. At the beginning of the week, I'll go through the cards in the sprint that still need to get done, and I'll add them to my hand. In a way, this kind of creates a mini sprint within my larger sprint. When you complete a task, you can drag it into the discard pile. It's a small thing, but it makes the whole thing feel so much more fun. Now, my solo development project is about to become a team project. I've recently been able to recruit another developer, and because I've been using a team-based framework, it has made it so much easier to get them up and running. 
I simply added them to my Codex project, and they're immediately able to start picking up cards and working on them. While this process may seem like a bunch of extra work, it makes it clear what I need to work on next. I'm never sitting around wondering what to work on. It's an efficient workflow that allows me to make the most of my limited time. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in seeing more detailed videos on Codex, my game design docs in Obsidian, or how I capture ideas with my bullet journal, check out my Tools for Software Developers playlist.